Um, yeah, they better hope they have some morning wood starting on this map. Uh, yeah, saying that uh, this is by far uh, Zach's best map, you mean by the statistics of the season? Yeah, just looking at the statistics, I haven't followed the, mm. the entire thing. In group stage, they lost nothing on any map. And then in the group stage, I mean, in the playoffs, it was hit and miss, kind of. Uh, I mean, they had a shitty playoff. And <laughs> in, in the yeah, semi-final, well, they had a pretty... They, pretty they have a very good Obsidian, too. So there's that. Yep. While Cox are extremely good at rock. But yeah, if, very, very if, cool. the, if they play on Obsidian, just looking at the stats, you would think this would be the most even of the games, because they've both uh, won way more than they've lost on Obsidian. Yeah. Of course, that remains to be seen, and we have to remember that, again, even though the Cox were only so and so in groups, just enough to qualify, well, ranked third, so not quite just enough, but you know what I mean. Um, they did give a hard time to Milton's team, which was not the strongest leaving out of the coming out of the groups. They ended up, spoiler alert, winning the tournament. No, did they? They didn't. It no, was Milton's the team didn't. Yeah, the Poland did. Yeah, it was Poland. It was a close game. Yeah. It was so close I was alt in and out, which is why I thought, shit, they won? Who won? Wait, what? It was a bit of a surprise. So, we don't know who picked this. And they are not answering either. They will get the grace of an answer. It's it's a shame that <laughs> nobody. We might not see Anne walk um, right away in a f in further seasons of Gate Quad and stuff just yet. It seems to it's be a little divisive. It's a sh it's a shame, you say. Mm. Well, I say it's a shame because it's got a nice pool outside and Twitch has just released a channel for hot tubs and, and stuff. I mean, a game category for the boob streams. So we could have, you know, a bit of a, a hot tub stream in Anwalk's pool, which I'm currently watching. Yeah, right we, we can sell bath water from Anwalk, I guess. Yes, and the, the question is how much for a bottle of Milton's bath water? Yeah, 666 uh, something, I don't know. All right, the cocks get to pick the first map. Oh, so they haven't, they haven't chosen and then, wait, what? Ah, so random selectors only now. I really doubt that cocks are gonna pick this. I would expect a rock, although, fuck knows actually. It is a best of five, so anything can happen. Yep. Yeah, we can have surprises as evidence in that 3-2 to two game in the semi-finals between Cox and Mutants. So, five maps potentially. First map picked by Cox. We don't know what they're going for just yet. But that'll be well, soon Oh, they enough. are raiding up, so it means that they picked this. It looks okay, like, no. looks like Anwar. First yeah. surprise is there. There we go. And now it's just a matter of everybody getting ready. Which is uh, not too far off, apparently. So we're going to be able to get going. Pretty soon, yeah. All right, and I will not enable this uh, test radar picture because it's just way too messy. <laughs> Mig says you love Anwalk. Don't yes, let... I, uh... Yeah. Uh, I'm not even sure how to convey my love fully for this wonderful map. I mean, it was worth a try. Wait. Y you can even say it was love at first sight. Well, I know that there is a version that is uh, downsized, like 50% or something, or 75% of the original. That might be interesting, I don't know. Ah, uh, kind of like we have a SM4 for DM4. So, for those of you who might not be aware, SM4 is a tiny version of DM4. 
and it feels really weird on the FFA server when you get DM4, then the small version, then the big version. And yeah, small we are version alive. of this is gonna be like a usual map. Yeah, it's going to be uh, you will you will be able to reach across with LG. So we're on. First map. Telefrag. Okay, you need to press back left on this map or something apparently. First power up going to Rambo, going to red, it's not there. His friends got it. What? Billy got telefragged first and yet he's still somehow the one who picks up Bent. He got I'm a not good sure spawn. what happened there. Right after this. I'm not sure where exactly the spawns are in that room. Now, someone should have had the Bent spawn, but yeah. Something weird happened. That weird being someone fucked up his first one, apparently. <laughs> Oops. No entry. Okay, early little lead for the Cox. Where are they? Pent, ring, pent. Okay, there we are trying to take red. And succeeding at this. Well, it's gonna be a quad fight now. Oh, that's the thugs. There we go. Red. Missing the air rocket on. Just out of range. Oh, Ooh, wow. nice. That was nice. Yeah. Makes up for that with a nice shot. Blurrier is new, yes. They've always been blurry, but they're a bit blurrier now. And they've been split in resources, well, yeah, until Flamer did that. I lost still two rockets for Thugs. Fox do have Panta control though. There's like a difference in opinions on what actually constitutes control on this map. <laughs> I think controlling Panta and LG is more important, but there are a lot of people who play from red side. Yeah, it certainly looks like a yellow pent and the shaft would be a good place to start because you have a teleport straight to quad as we can see. Dicky has taken that. And he was yeah, on the plus wrong end. LG on this map on, over these distances. Oh Jesus, that was <laughs> That was a dead quad basically almost. And what you do when you get the quad, you storm the pent because yellow and stuff. Well, uh, I guess they didn't need to storm the red first. Oh, also there's access to uh, rocket launcher from underneath. Two for one. Four rockets for Fox. That's Defending the IRL like a champ. Now. It's actually rare on this map to have even three weapons. That's a lot. So Thug's in control of yellow now. I switched places basically, Cox went to red. And now we wait. Lock the angles. We're only lacking the smoke grenades and the flashbangs. Good defense. Yeah, this is not going well for Cox actually. Well, maybe on a further map. And we'll have to see if they uh, go to four or five, if they replay this. Yeah. Uh, and there is a teleport leading to this mega health hut. There. Oh, the wrong rockets again from Flamer. Well, not, I don't know if it was the same guy, but it was a bit of an incident in the semi-final with someone in that corner. Not getting hit by any of the rockets thrown their way. Yeah, yeah. Map is so big, you, your depth perception is kind of messed up. Yeah, and you also need to increase your core. 110. I can I can do bigger, but it's going to squash it even further. It's going to look oh, like. 110 is not that low. It's strange. Oh Oof. boy! Denied. So securing the next rocket. Oh, there's two megas, I forgot. Yeah, there's the one outside, and then the other one is downstairs near the RL. Yes, that's where it is. There's parkour in the boxes. 
that teammate's uh, feeling lucky right now. I'm not quite sure. Did he get the rocket? I don't think so. Okay, they give us the rocket. Well, they have two rockets waiting for red, and then hopefully they're going to be able to take one of the power ups. I mean, everything's coming up right now. Pent, quad, yeah. ring. Pent a bit further ahead. I don't even go for ring first. Ooh. Yeah, you won't be able to make it to Pent, so. Ah, well, Billy doesn't have a rocket, though. Yeah, but he has a Billy. That's true. First man to Mars. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> telefrag, that's fine, that's fine. Would have been nicer with the quad telefrag, but can't get everything right away. And again, that corner of uh, immunity, let's call it that. Yeah, just not when people shaft at you. Or SSG. <laughs> There. <laughs> well, nice try by DK. Came very close to stealing that. Flamer kind of keeps feeding his teammates rockets. <laughs> hey, Billy is ready for well, quad. Dead eyed. Yeah, but they are. They have. Less resources, though. In terms of armor, so Cox end up getting this quad. Well, it's just 16 frags, so it's still close. Definitely. Some comebacking to be done. And he got ganked. Three guys out in the courtyard. You may have some stuff, but that's three people you have to uh, uh, get rid of. You may have 200 to 100, but three good boom stickers and it'll go down in no time. Exactly, as we've seen. Oof. Is he going to go back to red through the teleport there on the side? Uh, he's just defending Kill the weapon. approach to quad. Wow, nice. That was really nice from the game. Billy has a chance of getting that red. <laughs> he didn't get it. It didn't get it. Went to Salmon though, so. Dicky did the right thing, not chasing and waiting for the quad instead. Maybe now in a better position to take that red, although there are some tough angles to cover going in. Yep. Where are they all? In the basement? Yes, two in the basement. He decided not to waste quad on that weight. Nice direct. Many rockets, he could pre fire all the angles if he wanted, although with the size of the map. They have plenty of time to dodge. Yeah, but it's tough to, to attack that position, especially alone. Yeah, yeah, I guess you need to have someone from there and someone from going from underneath, although it's not a great way to attack. Yeah, or just a few people jumping in before you. Because a lot of people, me included, love to hide there behind the pillars with LG and backstab. Those who try to attack from the yard. More reds going cock's way. Oh, that's a couple of packs. Sweet. Rocket pack, yeah, just take it. And now they're going to move back to... No, not interested in the pent. Well, shaft. So would you say the cocks are more interested in playing red? It seems like they've taken, they've taken turns pretty evenly so far. Oh, that was... Uh, Dicky so far seems to be the one on whom all the comeback effort hinges. Yeah, very efficient. Okay. What now? He chases Billy up top, and they are. And we can uh -huh. see a few people behind the through the cracks. Nice push by Billy. How did he get there? Rocket jumped? What the hell? Then I was a nice play. Nice rocket. Yeah. It was a nice play from Hannah, but wasn't enough in the end. Yeah, he got billied. Taking a yeah, but... leisurely stroll out in the park. 
Now this is just a denial of Quad because Quad wasn't really able to do much there. Well, apart from killing Kano by the weapon. Take Oops. out that weapon. Pretty close. There we go. It didn't drop, but at least it's one less rocket for yeah. Hux. Only John Rambo uh, quarting his at red. While the Flex tried to reclaim the yellow. Just about naked. That's a dropped back. This is a frantic fight for Band, who, which Cox wins somehow. I mean, throwing boomsticks at it. I think they're getting range. the quad. They should, they should. Yes, come on. Oh. Okay, Double three frags apart. Watch yeah. out. And just enemies galore, but only one dies. Nobody hiding above there. Yeah, same one who made it up with rocket launcher. Oh wow, that was super rocket by Hanno. And saves the red. And it's extremely ties it up. precise, yeah. I'm not sure how we have to say it, but Torille, I guess. Uh, I'll take your word for it. I think it's the. Uh, it's like Hail Canada or something, but for Finns. <laughs> Isn't that Perkele? That's something else. <laughs> That's when you fall in the lava. Okay. I think it gets another. Yeah. They've been pretty solidly controlling quads, apart from that one stolen by Thunder. Eight quads for Cox, yes. Oh boy. That's <laughs> brutal. Sent into orbit. Would you like uh, to take a trip at the ceiling? I need somebody to repaint that thing over there. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is so annoying to die like that. No yellow for you. LG was just taken. Ah, yeah, there is a truckload of rockets there. Yeah, but Hanno seems to be Billy's kryptonite for now. Regularly killing him. Oh well, one health, 12 rockets. Uh, oh, I, I was just trying to suggest for him to bore for somebody, but they all have rockets in the end. Oh, that's a nice defense. Wow, ballsy push. That paid off dividends. Got the quad, I mean, got a kill, got a weapon, got yeah. a pack. Saved it, even. What, what was that, two packs? Or did he just spare the one? Uh, dude, Quad really shouldn't yep. shouldn't spend time doing that. That is questionable use of Quad time. Yeah, that's not a good decision. And it's still available. Yeah, might as well stay there now. Okay, let's I need to see where the other guys are. They're everywhere. They're Flamer and Cell are denying new pickups. Hit that box. Great spawns. Yeah, there's a couple in the courtyard right there. Okay, Cox are in trouble now. In a pretty big trouble. They missed out on this squad. A couple minutes to the next round of interesting power ups. More interesting. <laughs> Make that depend. No mine. That, <laughs> that looked like some kind of ploy from Hanno because he. It, it seemed like he was oblivious to the quad approaching and he was looking somewhere at that red direction and there was only his teammate there. And so it actually surprised Thunder to see that there was a, an enemy there. Because otherwise, why would Hanno look there? Probably not intentional though. Yeah, some real weapons deficit now for Cox. They're not getting the rockets, they're not getting the LGs. An occasional stolen red. Well, I was gonna say it's not gonna cut it at quad and I'm fucking wrong. <laughs> Rocket coming up, quick, 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 get to the chopper. It's the red instead, no one here, so we're safe.
<laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> Oops. That was fucking hilarious. Good luck, final exit. 3v1. Uh, how like, how come Dicky didn't see the quad glow? He should have known that quad is team, right? Oh boy. I wonder if he plays with the glow enable at all. Many people don't, surprisingly. Oh, it's really strange. Well, that was a good effort by DK, but yeah, he really needed some help there. Heroic plays. Oops. A nice rocket jump there, back. My quad, my quad. Denied. Come on. Yes. And this rocket jump is surprisingly easy to fail. Yeah, true. Need some practice. Just about make it. Denied, no rocket for you. Yeah, nice. Depressing. Oh, that's a nice trap from Hanno. So that just... Gets, yeah, it gets the ring. Let's see what he can do with it. That's Quite a lot. Too many frags ahead, but... Uh... Well, let's say the gap isn't exactly increasing very much. It's pretty stable right now, the game. Yeah, Cox really need to work on that gap. How many more comebacks do they have in them? Or is there a refractile period? Refractory, I'm not sure. Jesus. And again, quite shenanigans. Oh, Jesus. Final. Well, Just missed like five or six boomsticks there. Completely. One thing I would say for Anwalk is that the quad setup yields a lot of fun situations. Yeah, mm. that's, that's why people usually hate CMT4. Well, that's specific reason. Oh, this is by far not what annoys me about this map. Quad's fine. Rocket coming up. Come on, come on. Is he going to teleport? No, waiting for someone to come through instead. That's a shaft yeah. back, by the way. Thunder also tries to... Yeah, but Hanno has the best weapon in this situation, but yeah, he falls down. Thankfully, like, he didn't really. drop. That was some nice spawn from Thunder. And Rambo was there to pick up where he left off, which is... I mean, I was going to say the Cox are looking pretty strong. They have three rockets. They're about to get the squad. Maybe they can clear this gap. Yeah, it looks likely. 12 frags is nothing, so... This is really a bad time for, for Thugs to lose. Uh, are they the, here? The lead you can go. Actually, no red guys in the cathedral. Uh, you kind of need the rockets, dude. There's a pack right there, come on. Nah, you know, Rambo only needs a knife. <laughs> yeah, next. That was a stylish team kill. Yeah. Yes, there is a two-way teleport at the end. Well, there's a bit of a trick. If you go one way, it takes you to Mega, and then there is something back and forth. That was actually quite nice play by Final Exit. He just was really calm there. Speaking of Shooting comebacks, the Cox have taken the lead. Yeah. One minute and something to go. So, uh, they're going to start seeing a little, little more jitter in their play. Yeah, just just four frags though, it's still still definitely not over. Anticipated that Billy would come back. Maybe not the second guy coming in, but a nice save from final. Blamer and his grenades, Jesus. Ah, right, I forgot about this. Just a matter of one month. How can oh. you forget? Saman might have made a very important kill there, but it's still, yeah, yeah, that was a weapon. LG. Yeah. That was a weapon taken away from the newly leading team in the match. Nah, that's GG. That's GG for sure. Three seconds. Squad is dead. Yeah. Looks like you're right. 
Call first map definitely delivered. That's a very close game. Yeah, come back from the cocks as well. Yeah. They pulled through. Dead. Wait, no, that's 10 more seconds. Alrighty then, so off to the second map. Which Kenya are they going to go for now? So we've got Anne walk out of the way. The stats are fucking amazing. 42 reds versus 14 for Cox. And, and Henu MVP. Basically just a like southern and 300 damage difference, which is not much at all. Goes to show how important red on this map is. Not a lot. So these guys must be debating intensely. What do we go to next? Mm. Like 99% probability is gonna be obsidian. But I know that 1% is going to flare up now and we're going to get drunk. <laughs> and final rage quits. No, it doesn't rage quit. It might have an actual legit re reason for uh, leaving for a second. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he probably needs another proxy because... Obsidian is up next. As far as I remember, he's playing somewhere from Malta. So he's going to actually... Oh, right. Was... Yeah, yeah, you're right. So final exit. Uh, has come back from a long hiatus in Quake, well, and in the interim he moved to Malta. So, not the best pings in Europe. Decent, but not ideal. The thugs go to Obsidian, and this is one of their best maps. Fine folk are enjoying the Kenya music from Monkey Island. Everybody's getting ready. Oh, it is obsidian. So we have to be mindful of the lift. Because as it turns out, there is a secret. Easter egg, let's say, with the lift that I never encountered yeah. in the few times I've played this. So, how is it exactly that you can get squished on the lift? Where it is? Uh, when somebody jumps on your head, basically. <sighs> You're insta, just insta dead. And also, you can get squished by the bars when they're closing. Also there instantly. it is. That lift is dangerous. Which is, in a way, why Link in his uh, overview of the map video was saying, when looking down at that hallway coming from lifts, from green down to lifts, looking there saying, never go there. Oh, there be, never there say dragons. never. <laughs> but yeah, 90% of the time, that's not a good idea. That lift is also what famously made Say Rage quit. Yes. After he squished the barricade. Yeah, and it looked for a split second as though the uh, team was going to give a default win. Well, thankfully it didn't happen. I mean, say so he was looking for an excuse. <laughs> but that was still pretty hilarious. Yeah, I'm not sure I would have enjoyed getting uh, finding this out in a league game. High stakes. Today on High Stakes Poker. Yeah, if it was for me, I would have probably removed that particular feature slash bug slash something I thought of because, I mean, as you said, people barely go lifts as as it is. So this just makes it even less appealing. So uh, apparently, so uh, the mapper Queen Star is aware of this thing, but I'm not sure if they were aware of it 
before releasing or made aware of it after releasing. Either way, Mapper knows and has chosen to let this leave this in. But it doesn't make that much of a difference. Yeah. It's a little quirk. Okay, second map. Hanno has actually possibly yeah, Billy is on lift, but Hanno didn't try to well, Billy actually took the lift with a rocket launcher and Hanno did not try to, to kill him there. Okay, double pirate for the Cox. Dicky waiting for that yellow. Whoa, that's a mighty stack on this map. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, right, you have to remember, this map only goes up to yellow armor. No red. Oh, that was so bad from Seiman, come on. You do have more shotguns, though. I stole... he stole the rocket launcher and then ended up boring for whatever reason. So that's an... isn't that a near full start for the cocks? I mean, that parap's armors? Ah, I know what happened there. I mean, he, he probably was just shooting Boomstick and then Rocket Launcher spawned and he has maybe a uh, an alias which shoots whatever strongest weapon he has. Yeah, I should have a dedicated Boomstick key for that to avoid those things. Ah, man. Stop the game. There's no match tag. Quick. Bit of a lead, not much. Rocket coming up, everybody, anybody down there waiting for it? Yes, no, maybe? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I was Great hoping for a minute, so but uh, yeah, I think Auto Track has been pretty much locked on him for now. He hasn't yeah, well, died not... yet. Yeah, not dying on this map for like two minutes, it's, a, it's an accomplishment. Yeah, this map is pretty, there, there. Uh, it's pretty nice. There it comes, though. It's got style. Okay, Billy gets the quad and gets destroyed by DK and another boomsticker. One rocket each, but Cox have it better. Thunder didn't drop. Still one rocket. Yeah, I was a bit worried for a second. Rocket fights people dying. Well, no drops. Well played by final there. And that was close. Yeah. 18 HP, one more hit. Somebody's chasing him. Hey. SMG is not great though. A bit of a Benny Hill moment right now. <laughs> yeah, to finally <laughs> yeah. get him. Yeah, final seems to have pretty low sensitivity for those things. He wasn't really trusting himself to turn in time. Oh fuck. So... Flamer has to reconnect because he has a shitty ping. Slash bars. Yeah, actually they should have elected admin before the game, right? I, I also forgot to tell them that. Fuck it. There's been a lot of work done on enabling pauses and stuff. I hope it's better for th Flamer now. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, he's there. Wonder how that can improve just just like that, just like that. Yeah, the short answer for there is a pause thing is it's complicated, but kind of yes. Super strong start still from the Cox. They've capitalized on this. Yeah, two rockets now though. Rambo will have trouble surviving. They aren't too many frags ahead, but they've been convincingly ahead. Yeah, they, they would have been more frags ahead if, if they got that last quad, but they did. You know, nearly falling into that lava. Oh, what? I mean, what? Fine. That was dirty grenades, even two of them. Ah, yes, apparently. get uh, the ability to vote pauses when you have a match tag set, but that's in the new KTX, not main line. Somewhere in the near future. Nice cleanup. 
no damage to his buddies. Yeah, and it's sort of a control turnaround now. So we have rockets on both sides. Well, a rocket on each side. Oh, and I'm not sure if Flamer actually had the information. Nice. That... What the fuck are those rockets, man? Yeah, that was sweet. Too bad he dropped his own. I mean, he died. He didn't drop it, but uh, he killed a rocket launcher on the enemy side, and then that rocket was dropped to another guy who was then killed. It's well played by Simon there. Nice. Henry's going lifts with the rocket launcher like consistently. Yeah, these people seem to be not very intent on trying to squish enemies. It yeah. is one of those things when everyone knows that nobody should do it, so they don't expect people to do it. I don't know. I wonder if there's a, a chilling effect or just a gentleman's agreement. <laughs> Like a Geneva Convention. Yeah, that's just usual obsidian chaos. Rocket launchers dying very quickly. And we are out of rockets. Many super shotguns, though. There's two super shotguns on the map, right? Yeah. One up there, one down there. That gets another. Ah, no mega. What? Whoa, Hanno almost killed Simon there. It's just a pack of... Well, you don't know what ammunition is in there, but you don't have exactly too many weapons. Yeah, you have 100 cells now. Shells instead of 80. Wow. <laughs> he gets yeah, the mega un so this Unlike well. on the stream for maybe people who are... I doubt that they're out. Actually, any new people watching this, but yeah, colored packs is a streamer thing. It's not uh, or a QTV thing. It's not a something that's actually visible in the game. Yep. They all just see a filthy brown backpack. Okay, same one's just. Oh, oh that pine. <laughs> He was so lucky not to die to his own grenade. Uh, was... I don't think it was his grenade, it was a rocket. It was a rocket from uh, Final Exit, who is at Mega now. Rambo was gibbed by, by Salmon's grenade. He popped a grenade up in the air and took the yeah, quad yeah, and that's... the grenade fell down and got the other guy. Yeah, that's true, but the damage that he received from there was from, from enemy rocket, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Might be it, yep. Well, that looked very uh, scary. Uh, Oopsie! Poor, poor final, Jesus. Okay, Hanno at... He is surrounded, but he is well equipped to deal with the situation. Yeah, nice cleanup. That's three kills, four kills. Best position for frags in the game, but so difficult to survive there. Okay, quad again for... Well, the thugs. Not someone, but thugs at least. Come on. No yellow, it's been taken. Yeah, it seems like so far Cox are doing a much better job of getting the new rocket launchers. Nice. And getting them out too. Nice defense from Henu. I thought he was going to get boomsticked, quite boomsticked, but he was uh, far enough that. It's fine. Yeah. So, so the, the cocks are starting to feel the pressure, I think. I mean, the thugs are not giving up. Nice shots yeah. from Henu again. He's gonna get mega. Billy <laughs> did get that quad though. Bit of a huddle for quad. So that's seven oh, quads that's... for the thugs now. That yeah, was interesting. I also haven't heard. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I was just hallucinating. I thought Mega was there. It wasn't. So I was wondering why the fuck didn't I hear the pickup sound? That's because it wasn't there. Any boxes of ammunition? Anything? Thank you. 
Oof. And it's doing a great job surviving there. So they're all on the mega side, getting free frags. Not for long. I mean, you gotta push for this squad in 20 seconds. Yeah. Oh, that was a bit unlucky for Saman to choose that particular route. And now Hanno is set to have the squad. Uh, if he gets some help from his teammates. Which he sort of does, but Quad still goes to Thugs. Okay, Hanno gets the ring now. Interesting, so he's got everything Mega, Yellow, Rocket and Ring. And enough rockets to be really dangerous. Yeah, Ring is actually very useful on this map. Yellow. Always careful not to fall in the lava down there. Damn, handle on fire. 50 frags, 10 death. That's, yeah. that, that's just giving me Milton vibes there. Yeah, that's pretty solid. I mean, he learned from the best, I guess. Pretty much. Oh, that's a bug. Nice. Pack for your friend. Yeah, that's got to be the first get quad something season where Henu does not team up with Milton. Bucks just keep getting those stolen quads. And that's pretty much the only reason why the score is so close still. So close still? Well, it's kind of... the gap is sort of increasing now. Yeah, it is running away, yeah. Just slower than it would have if Cox got a few of those. What the fuck was that grenade? That's fine. <laughs> mm. Great timing. Okay, just Dicky with the rocket now, but he's in the position to, to do damage though. And three people helping. Uh, uh, they all spawned there? It looked like it, yeah. yeah. And another yellow. So 30 Cox. plus now. Come on, uh, uh, dude! Uh, Is that really some gentleman agreement? Or maybe some people missed out on the anti-drama altogether. <laughs> and have yet to encounter the, the issue in the wild. Another what for thugs. So they're almost 30 frags down, but they've had most of the quads and done some good work with them as well. Same wanna... okay. What happens? Getting a bit lost in water. <laughs> yeah, this might turn around though, but yeah, they need to get the rockets, and rockets are just consistently going to Cox. They have yellows. Sorry, they had yellows. Someone just got wasted. Next rocket coming up. Anybody making a move? Flamer and someone down there. Only someone left. He got it. So that's one yeah, rocket to thugs. Yes, he only 57 health. So not much. Okay, thunder was the quad. Well, this is the turnaround moment. They need to right. make the most of it. Don't screw this up. You have yellow. Quad and rocket. Nice. More of this. So that's nearly 10 frags reclaimed. Uh, teammate really should have bored for him there. There's was... no reason to, to, to stay alive with 12 rockets and 9 health when you have a 100 health quad right in front of you. Standing on yellow as well. Oh, yeah, Billy stole the mega there from Sam. Well, now he's going to need a weapon to justify this. Uh, he does have yellow. Ah, are we going to see a squish firsthand? <laughs> Flamer might have squished his. Wait, what? Thunder dropped? Left the game? Huh? That looked like an accidental key press or something. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Which is he why wasn't I, timing out. I found this the hard way bashing my keyboard because, you know, just quick world things. 
<laughs> and oh shit, F10 is quit by default. Oh, it's it's bound, but Jesus, let me check if I have that bound. No, it's not bound. Nice. Yeah, that's a nightmare. That can even be a game-turning nightmare, actually. Sander is like 50 frags in the first place. I don't know what he had there, if he had anything, but still. So, Whoa. it kind of sucks the thugs had uh, covered 10 frags. They had some weapons and stuff in it. They all got reset again. Yeah, nice place by Dicky. Oof. Whoa, what a quad run. And Dicky gets ice cream, yes. Seven or eight? Uh, and counting, yeah. Ouch. Dicky going crazy. That's 10 plus frags added to his team's counter. And that's 40 now. Yep. Very, very strong. We got him 60 frags. Jesus, Dicky is just a fucking monster. He's he really seems to be yeah. in form now as compared to the get quad season that we had before. Yeah, that was his warm up. Yeah, but because because now he's just he's just Dicky. Yeah, Dicky and Hannah are just running the show. So again, Torille or something. I need to really play this in Google Translate. Even Google Translate is going to do it better than I do. <laughs> Damn. Just gonna get the backstop. So um, while we were just, well, well, I was spouting off nonsense for a second. Uh, these guys went from plus thirty to plus forty to plus sixty. Just yeah, like that's that. very much a GG now. That's not an amount of frags that you can come back from on this map. It's In three nuts. minutes here, no. Insane it's extremely it right, difficult, yep. like even in 15 minutes, to be honest. When one team has this kind of advantage, it's already a lot. And Dickie is just going to keep on laying it down. 40 yellow. Oof. Could have been a nice shot from Flamer. Suddenly put Dickie in a bit of a predicament. Take the back. Yeah. Nice though. No, it's not very relevant. Oh boy. That was nice from Flamer. Bit of a chaos there. No, 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 you don't. <laughs> it didn't fall in lava. That was nice. Yeah, I was I was hoping for it. We'll assume it was intentional. Yes, and quick, you fall in lava. You don't fall in love, you fall in lava. <laughs> in lavatory. <laughs> ah, a third quad run. So yeah, the cocks haven't had that many quads, but those that they've had in the end. Wow, what? I mean, they've done some great stuff with the few quads they did get. Yeah, true. Maybe that was the gentleman's agreement all along. Okay, let's uh, not go too hard on them in the beginning and then only actually use the quads if it's starting to get a little too um, stressful to maintain. All right, just fuck it. Bit of a funny statistic. 84, 84, 43, 43 for Cox on the scoreboard. That's nice. So that's going to be... One, two, one. Everybody winning so, their map picks. Both Dicky and Hanno basically have as much frags as uh, Final and John Rainbow combined. Derp. Okay, quad is over. Not that it would make a huge difference at this point. Team Lock. Ooh. 
we yeah, have this garbage time. Might actually turn into a 3 0 in the end. Because rock is, is the best map for Cox. Oh, right, no, you're right. <laughs> we'll see, of course, if everything happens, but yeah, they impressed me greatly on rock, so. I'll be very surprised if Thugs are able to pull that out. So it is 2 0, yes. This might be it. Hanu again, except this time with a bit more Dicky. 10,000 damage for Dicky. Ow. Is that Fop actually? Uh, they tried, but they left because it was haunted. Oh, it's an L. Uh, yeah, th this is a somewhat strange server because, <laughs> like, it gave me the best ping because I had 38 in Netherlands for some reason, which is really rare for me. And I think for Norway people, it was just randomly freezing them. And apparently for someone with, I guess it's the same proxy for uh, Flamer and Seaman. And they are getting those pink spikes. So who knows, maybe it's the server itself. So that was picked by the thugs. Yeah. They lost the first one, so they picked the second. And now this is just nobody's pick because you have to play all three maps. But it would have been Cox's pick anyway, so. Do, do, do. Can the Cox make this a 3 0? Looks likely. And a bit of a surprise to me, but that's just because I saw the league mostly through statistics and not so much the games. Yeah, to me as well, I at least expected Thugs to take Obsidian because they are really good on that map, but yeah. Hanno and Dicky were just too strong there. And now we go to Rock, where both teams have lost one more Rock than they have won. 3 to 2, 4 to 3, but of course it's only numbers. So I assume next seasons of, uh, of Get Quad, Rock is likely to make a comeback in the uh, main pool, let's say, along with Obsidian. And it... I will certainly vote for that, yes. It's probably going to be the uh, updated version. Alice has gone in and fixed a few things. Tweak performance. Which, which are? Uh, Tweaks and performance, apparently. And I forgot some of the details, but there's one interesting bit about that yellow area, which is kind of tricky to navigate. Huh. Apparently less likely to fall down there. I haven't tried a version with the new changes, but... That's what I remember from the description that was made on IRC, on Discord. Yeah, that's interesting. I'll check it out because it's the first time I hear about this. I think the map is fine as it is, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, Obsidian and Rock are definitely very, very good maps. I love them. I know people are also kind of divided on rock. Some are not as much in love with it, but yeah, I, th I think it's a good map. Um, I've seen some comments around the lines of it plays kind of like DM2. It does, yeah, that's true. Yeah, mostly because of that uh, teleport to quad area, which is sort of the same as on DM2. Right, as demonstrated by Rambo right now. Yeah, but the red is, is kind of quite different from what we usually have on DM2, though. And it's just one. There's less armor to go around overall, although we have one, two megas? I'm not sure, I would have to... Yeah, well, it, it plays kind of like DM2, but it definitely isn't DM2. So. Yeah, no doubt. And here we go, maybe the final map. Three, two, one. Okay. First rocket going to Samon. Nearly dropping it. Instead. 
Oh, final god boss. They spawned yellow. I was Which wary. basically gives you a yellow quad and rocket. I could see the team kill coming. <laughs> oh, right, you have to be careful in that corner. There is a spawn, you can get telefragged. Oh, really? Okay, Hanu is waiting on that rocket launch for. It's quite stacked. Point. There's the red. Oh, no. Yeah, there, there was going to be a team kill here. Stylish. Red steals, yeah, red steals are extremely annoying on this map. Yeah, and if you especially manage to get it, you get pushed into lava. Yeah, and especially since there is this spawn there that just... You basically have to keep timing on red and take it on time and not leave it lying there because enemy will spawn on it and take it. Yeah, and we've seen this from players who have proven oh. to run the map really well, is that they just get there right on time and leave right then for the red. It was a dirty shot from shotgun. Caught no shotgun from around. John Rambo. Very nice. It did die though. Early lead for the Cox. Yeah, but they have issues now. Because two rockets for thugs and they have control over yellow. I'm not sure about red though. Yep, looks like this is getting cancelled. Scratch that, I didn't say anything. La 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 la. Okay. There's... I don't know what yellow was the rocket he died. So yeah, three rockets now for thugs. Okay, this is going well for them. Still some five seconds to quad or something. One fun thing about this map is you have two jump up to your friend tricks on here. Yeah. And one takes you to quad. Okay, delaying the quad, waiting for somebody with better gear, I guess. Yeah, same on the band to get the to, to get the mega there. Oof. Careful when given chase. Nice. There we go, just enough. Well played. There was Poor Hannah. There was nothing for Hannah. <laughs> just two rockets yeah. going his way. Yeah, one of them called and both hitting direct lol. Interesting, how can he take red? Can he take red? Nice positioning from Dickie in the corner. Link would be proud. <laughs> how did Billy survive that? Come on. <laughs> Ah, right, there's a third trick, says Skurk. Well, one under quad, one under green. The third one is from those steps at red. That's kind of too difficult to pull off. That's a long wait for red. And this is what happens. People spawn. Thankfully, they didn't steal it. Nice run, nice run. Hasn't taken much damage yet. Oof! That was a close call though with that cheeky spawn right on the rocket. From whoever it was on the thug side. Baby got to see his name, he got killed right away. Talk about uh, falling. And suddenly has <laughs> fucked on a feel. No, it's fine now. Yeah, yeah it looked a bit uh, jittery. Yeah, this this server really plays with people's minds, like all kinds of shits happening. Oh, that was sub suboptimal, really. Teammates were there. There, there we go. Free rocket pack. Careful not to push yourself in the. Well, he just did. Kind of. Who got the packs though? I can't figure out. Oh, Johnny Rambo did. Looks like he did, yeah. That's Rambo with the rocket. And some... No, that wasn't a telefrag. <laughs> yeah, so... So far, Rock is going as expected. Sort of Preparing unfortunately for, for us. So, I, I would prefer... I mean... It will really sound strange coming from me, but I would prefer to see another Enemoke. <laughs> just just for the closeness of it. Yeah. 
and walk was very close. Not more than, let's say, 15, 20 frags at best difference and going both ways. Ah, nice save. Thunder dying with honor instead of melting in the pool, in the hot tub, in the hot tub. We have to play the Twitch meta and do the hot tub thing. There we go, that's the red. Pretty solid lead, by the way, for the Cox. Yeah, but as on DM2, this this can slip away pretty fast. If enemy team gets control, so this is definitely not game over yet. Right, I'm not sure I've seen 50 frag comebacks on this map. But I haven't I seen too many not instances. Sure. So, yeah, I'm going to take your word for it. Just... Ah! Get out of my face! Denied. Oh man, Hanno and DQ just... The thing between this uh, his squad run and the red spawns is pretty on point. Hey, Hanno is just making me wet constantly. And no pesky red guys spawning by the red, taking his items. I mean, you can try, see what happens. <laughs> That's well played by Flamer, yeah. <laughs> but he ends up going back to the same place. <laughs> Frantically trying to run away. Be nice and you share. Share with others. You still have plenty. Ah. And that's what I'm talking about. Flamer Freaking did get red the red in the end, yeah. Yeah, that's a very obnoxious spawn, really. Sort of like Arrowwalk Red. So, uh, I was wondering... Isn't that a lot of quads for Cox? Yes, yes it is. It's seven quads to one. Most of them run by Dickie and Henu. So, uh, they're doing well. Most efficient players on the server, in terms of stats. And I'm getting ready to ice cream. Uh, well, I, I mean, that was ice cream worthy. It's just I was yeah. too slow to run. Two packs. Uh, but Hanno is in position to control them both. Ow, he misses those. Behind bars. Yeah, they suddenly don't make it easier. I guess it's okay, you're a teammate, you can have it. Well, he did have a rocket launcher too, he probably didn't even see that Hanno is behind with a better stack. But he survived actually, so... Oh. That counts as a successful play, yeah. A rare thug quad. Yeah, Billy's trying his best to turn this around. Oh! Nice save by Hanu, he nearly caused an industrial accident and got a team killer. Yeah. Which I guess is fair game in that situation when you have the quad pushing you. If uh, you can get the quad as well, then team kill is not a problem. Okay, same as leaving the rocket launcher for his teammate. Facial. <laughs> Raining facial rockets from above. That's the red armor. Yeah, there we go. That yeah, was the red armor taken out. Should be a quad for thugs. Yeah, it needs some help. Stats. Uh, that was an extremely well played bow from her. Uh, sorry, Simon. Yeah. Nah. I mean, he had me wondering how long is it going to be able to keep this keep this up? Because this is not a trivial thing to do. Oh, unreachable. Did he get it? I'm not sure. No, it's yeah, still there. Didn't. Stop spawning in my face. So we have a 60 frag difference almost now. We're talking about coming back from a 50 deficit. And again, oh. unreachable pack. Ah, and that was, a, that was a grenade, even not a rocket from Hanno. And Billy played so well before that, that was just unfortunate. Explosive play. Or play with explosives. Either is fine. 
Come on, red guy. No blue people allowed. And who's going to try? Might succeed. Okay, uh -huh. 55 frags on there getting the quads now. They have control over red. That's a lot yellow. more quads. That's three quads in a row for them. Yeah. Yellow for Cox, though. Three quads in a row and 10 frags reclaimed. Yeah. Yeah, they need to hold it because this is their ticket back into the game. Nice. Waiting for a spray. <laughs> it was worth the wait. Two for one. Trick, trick. Nice hearing of back. So that's three rockets for thugs. Down ten more frags. Yeah, and yellow should go flamers way too, unless he gets some unlucky spawn there. Or rather, the... they are up ten more. That might be a little too long of a wait. Careful with the telefrags. <laughs> that's not a pants you're wearing. There is a risk. I wonder if Worth Cox it. felt a bit too safe there. After winning two maps and like playing their best map and being in the lead. Rambo pays twice. Oh nice, nice. I didn't know about these yeah. tricks. Yeah, it's there, yeah. And it's another thing to actually try and do that in in the game and succeed, so that's big kudos to Billy for pulling that off. Yeah, that was uh, that was seamless. He ain't called Billy the Kangaroo for nothing. <laughs> I thought this is Paralympics. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's 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 strange how we get from super stylish trick jumps, very flowy movement to failing a ram jump, team failing a ram jump and then losing a quad. Jesus, and so now people are taking Mega from what is happening on this map? <laughs> That was hilarious. Just two people constantly failing those jumps, actually fucking each other's jumps, and then just quad comes and punish them for it. But that that's clippable. That Very will much need so. To be, uh, that would need to be clipped for sure. I'm going to add a marker to uh, so I can go back and clip it if I remember. Okay, so we're down to 20 something frag difference. The thugs are really putting in the work. And hopefully they keep on on that train. Because that's looking good. Except the jumps thing. Ah, uh, dude. They have the, to They get the yellow spawn though, yeah. They get the yellow spawn. That's extremely good for thugs. Maybe a bit lucky there, but... You know, it evens out over the map anyway. Okay, so Flamer is going to loop around the map back to red, hopefully. Unless he gets ambushed. Yeah. I think by... they deserve this comeback, really. What, are, what is he going to get ambushed with? Boomsticks? Could happen. It's tight corners. How are you going to defend yourself with quad rockets in tight corners? Okay, that's a dead rocket. Yeah, it dropped even, I think. Yeah. Or maybe it was a jib again. I'm getting... Two Come mix on, guys. Time. You can do it. Give us the fourth map and possibly even fifths. That would be nice. Ah, there we go. Bit of a hot path. Framer going to switch bikinis before going back to the hot tub. Oh, thunder messed up. I don't even know if he tried to rocket jump or was that. No, Dicky, just... you won't. Someone is hell bent on getting that frag. Yeah, and but... that was his own fall. What? what is happening? Team kill telefrags? Team kill telefrag even. For extra style points. And there's just final on the map is rocket launcher and he only now gets the armor. Leave me alone. That's not good news for for Thax though. And that yellow is a little far away, but then again so is the next squad, so he can afford to wait a little longer. Doesn't risk getting telefrag. D uh you think. Hmm. Yeah. Thankfully, Henry comes in to save the day. 
Uh, but it looks like someone else is going to need to have the... Everything is spawning. Everything is spawning. My HUD is covered in acorns. Are you serious? No, no, <laughs> no, that was a rocket. Okay, this should lose them the game, in all fairness. Oof. If this game was remotely fair, like, mistakes like this need to be punished. Rambo, that was a drop back at mid. But that's not where the frags are. Tough decision to make, he makes it. No, that wasn't a back, that was a jib. I'm afraid I'm going to have to enable jib filter. I never thought I would say this. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I did. I also... I held for like years and years and years, but I also did enable it. Yeah. And here we go, that's the one team jump to upper. Still 20 frags ahead, four minutes to go. Red yeah, up. finals. Oh, Billy is now in a good position. Yep. He has fucked on of health of two megas and nice. <laughs> Nearly bores himself. I mean, who else? Nearly bores. He, he, yeah, he's. It's, it's all on him now. No pressure. That's yeah. His friends. Is he going to get knocked into the lava before getting the red? No. No jinx. Nothing bad ain't gonna happen. Don't worry. I know actually... Whoa, how the fuck did he hit? Oh, Oof. man. Crucial play Billy. like you know. Yeah, Billy is pissed right now. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you would be... Anybody would be pissed in that situation. That is... <sighs> yeah, Hanno went for a very ballsy play going up for a Mega there, in plain view of Quad, who should have come from behind him uh, as a teleporter. And yet it still worked because he hit two directs. Three minutes to go. Three rockets for Cox. Billy gets another Quad though. And he's in poor health. Careful with this. Careful maneuvering, nice, except he gets a team kill. Oh. So that's two oh, team kills in the quad run. That is a pack. But yes, the pack makes, makes up for it. If someone picks it up from his team, even, preferably. Uh, was it? Yeah, I think it was. Same one picked it. Two minutes and to go, and we're up 30 frag difference. Insane calling a GG in the chat. I might have to agree. I hope it's not a GG. It's still possible, but obviously much less likely now. Yeah, it's going to be one hell of a comeback if it happens. Come on, someone. Rocket. Yellow. Quad. Don't. Don't. Just don't. <laughs> fingers crossed. All the fingers you have that you can cross, cross them. Even your toes. Okay. Nice defense from final. Yeah, and he did survive that actually. Someone did well not to uh, overstay his welcome in this fight because that would have been yeah. risky, I think. Yeah, not now it is GG though. Yeah, one minute Sick. to go, 30 frags still. They can just slow spawn. But yeah, boy, was it close. I feel bad for Thugs on Rock because they really played well. Yeah, they gave us one hell of a comeback. And then the, Scott, the Cox switched to the next gear available. Not bad for a team that was two to two in the in the uh, group stage. Two matches to two. Yeah, they practice a lot after that. Ah, that would be it then. They've done their homework. Actually, Final did a very good job in the last like five or six minutes of Rock. It was mostly him holding that lead. Wow. Finish him, come on. Cheeky. Oh, he should have gone for this with the axe. Just to top this off. <laughs> but here we have it. Yeah, GG's. So that's Rook won by the Cox.
Cox win this 3 to 0. Holy yeah, shit. this is a very unexpected result. It's just 300 damage difference in the end on this map. That much, or not that much. And Henry MVP overall, getting many yeah. awards in every map. Henry and Dickie, the combo of death. If you don't have Milton around, get these guys. Yeah, Billy played his heart out on this map already. 15 rockets killed, 7 dropped. So, that brings us to the actual end of the season. The final game was played before this. So, we're not even sure the bronze game was going to happen, but it did. We just saw it. It was kind of nice. Bit of a surprise. Some good yep, stuff. Kudos to Cox for taking the third place. Yeah, very well done. They nearly landed a spot in the final. Let's not forget. Yeah. I mean, they Could played versus, versus mutants. They beat the mutants on Obsidian very close. Lost by 70 frags on Rock. Beat them on Anwalk by very few frags, a handful. And it was a matter of 50, 60 frags on Rock and Obsidian again. Um, yep. I've seen this and yes, the Anwalk was what, what? And so was Obsidian. I mean, the first two that they played, so yeah. Good going, well deserved. And uh, I guess this is where Quake World goes back into hibernation in the summer. I know that seems weird saying it like this, but... Uh, we'll see about it. Four on four slowing down soon, but... Uh, we'll activity see everywhere, it. yeah. yeah. Plans for a, an all-star event in the uh, end of the year. Starting to take shape. Somewhere in autumn, yeah, I'm not sure when exactly. In the interim, some people are calling for a nations thing again. Some for on fall, we'll see what happens. Love to see more of this. And uh, we'll hopefully some of these maps make it uh, into the pool as a permanent fixture. I mean, Obsidian pretty much has at this point. Rock is well on his way to doing this. And walk, nice try. Now I really need that click though. Yes, 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 that was one good, one good play. I mean, we had several one good plays overall, but this one took the cake, I think. Yeah, for sure. So that's it. Thank you all for tuning in. See you yeah, around for more games. Thanks, Nit, for... Thanks for having me, yeah. ...being the quality consultant as usual. This was the Tesco Value Commentary Channel. And we can, we should end this on... should end this as a hot tub stream. There we go, here's the hot tub. And here's the soundtrack. <laughs>